Hey guys, it's Angie from Lucky Little Learners and today I'm here to show you some strategies I use when I teach my students multiplication. If you've caught previous videos from me about math strategies, you know that I'm a firm believer that whenever you are teaching students a new skill, it is essential that we are teaching them the why before we teach them the how. We need to teach them the strategies before we teach them the memorization piece. I am also a firm believer in teaching them many strategies because you just don't know what is going to catch their attention or what's going to catch their um, memory. So today I'm going to show you six strategies for teaching multiplication. The first strategy is repeated addition. So you will see for all six strategies, I'm taking the multiplication problem of four times three. So if I'm using the repeated addition strategy, I'm going to take four times three and I'm going to show them that you can take four times three and you could do four plus four plus four three times, and that will get you the answer of 12. Or you can take three plus three plus three plus three four times, and that will get you the answer of 12. So that is one strategy I use when teaching multiplication. Another, th another strategy I use for teaching multiplication is the skip, skip, skip counting strategy. So again, taking the multiplication problem of four times three, I can take the number four and skip count by fours three times. Four, eight, 12. There's my answer of 12. Or I can take the number three and skip count four times. Three, six, nine, 12. And there's my answer. So four times three is 12. Another strategy I use is called equal groups. Uh, sometimes I even call this just simply drawing a picture. So if I were to take this strategy and I would think about it as drawing a picture and, and I'm going to keep it simple because I don't want to have my kids spend too much time on their pictures. So I'm going to have them draw plates of cookies. So I'm going to start with four plates because our multiplication problem is still four times three. So here are my four plates and each plate is going to have three cookies. And then when I count them up, three, six, nine, 12, my answer then would be 12. And I can also show that with three groups of four. Three plates, four cookies on each for a total of 12 as our answer, okay? And then the last three strategies I want to show you today, I am gonna go with block towers next. Again, this multiplication problem is four times three. So I could choose to do four towers that are three high. Okay, three, six, nine, 12. Or I can choose to do three towers that are four units high. four, eight, 12, for an answer of 12. The intersection strategy is a unique strategy that I have a lot of students actually like. I think it's the visual piece of this. For intersection strategy, I take the problem four times three and I could do four columns. With three rows. And everywhere that the lines intersect, we count. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Or I can take that same strategy and show it with three columns with four rows. And again, counting those intersections, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, so getting the answer of 12, just another strategy. And then the final strategy are arrays. This is a pretty popular strategy, basically showing um, sets of. So four times three, I can again choose to do four columns with three rows. And I'm gonna tell my kids too, we're not spending too much time on the picture. Four columns, three rows. When I count all those up, I'm going to get 12, or I can do three columns with four rows, 
fill in the array, make sure they line up. And again, I get 12 when I count them up. So I hope you found these strategies um, helpful to you.